According to uh, the state-run media, uh, Kim Jong-un, the leader, decided that he had uh, tried to create his own power base within the party. This is what uh, the KCNA report said, uh, that he was uh, trying to develop a faction within the faction, so he and his allies uh, effectively uh, were getting ahead of themselves and trying to, uh, to have too much power, uh, according to this uh, report. Now, it also said uh, that Chang had uh, different uh, crimes. He was also womanizing. He was using drugs. Uh, he was was uh, also gambling, eating at expensive restaurants. There's really a litany of, uh, of crimes that he is accused of. Uh, and we have seen photos from KCNA also saying, uh, showing that he was um, seemingly escorted from a meeting uh, by military personnel. So this is really a very significant uh, move by Kim Jong-un. It's very significant as he was pretty much number two uh, in the country for, for some time since Kim Jong-un came to power, in fact, in, in December 2011. And it really is the biggest upheaval that we've seen of this political structure. Now, of course, everybody is trying to figure out what it means. Observers are trying to uh, assess how significant this is. Uh, many observers are saying this probably is uh, the end of the consolidation of power by, by Kim Jong-un. Uh, and the fact that he has done this so publicly uh, is also to show anybody else who's thinking of challenging his power that it's, it's simply not worth it. Zane? What kind of a role was uh, Jang Son Thak playing? What, 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 what kind of a, what, what, what was his leadership position and how is it going to impact what's going to happen next? Well, we did see him recently go to, to Beijing, so he was uh, really a face abroad of uh, the Kim Jong-un uh, power structure as well. He uh, was known uh, for his economic uh, p policies, so he went to, to to Beijing. He was talking to uh, the leadership there and it was uh, understood that he was talking about economic issues. Uh, so whether or not this will have a direct impact on uh, any economic uh, policies that, uh, that North Korea might be trying to put through at uh, this point uh, is unclear. Uh, but certainly the, uh, the, the feeling was that uh, this was a consolidation of power by Kim Jong-un. Uh, some analysts also were saying to me that uh, they question whether or not this shows Kim Jong-un does have complete power and complete authority in the country because uh, if he does have complete authority why would he feel the need uh, to have such a public dismissal of uh, of uh, Chan Son Tech it's it's really very unusual for North Korea to air its dirty laundry in this fashion and to almost be as transparent uh, as it is we do see certain people uh, disappear from view from uh, from North Korean state television and that's when you assume that they have been removed from power uh, but it's not always the case that there is this official uh, announcement as as there was today